Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us on this Wednesday morning, and welcome to this specialist trading educational presentation. Now, today I'd like to talk to you about pinpointing strong trending markets in advance. As traders, we always look at these charts of these markets that took off in either upwards direction or downwards direction. We say to ourselves, how come we weren't able to catch that? How come we didn't know that that was going to happen in advance? Oftentimes, traders love to play the victim game and they say, gosh, I wish I would have known that I could have made a ton of money either shorting or buying here. But it's always a day late and a dollar short. Well, it's my opinion that I think the reason why this happens to so many traders is because they're using outdated and really very uh, uh, worn out tools that don't have any levels of consistency to them. But we continue to be told that these are the things that are supposed to work. Uh, for example, as we look at this chart here in VIAC, Viacom, this is a weekly chart. And obviously looking back to 2020, just about a year from now, a year ago, I should say, we were in an uptrend. But let's say we start to look at uh, things we've been taught. Let's say we think that this is some sort of resistance right here. Maybe that $10,000 course we took on uh, resistance or support re and, and uh, uh, resistance, we're thinking to ourselves, well, maybe we should think twice about purchasing this. Or perhaps some convoluted indicator you have that's supposed to always work is telling you that it's overbought. There's no reason to get involved in this. So you decide to wait on the sidelines and not do anything. OK, this is the way most traders make their decisions off of traditional but worn out ways that really show no levels of consistency. Well, in today's presentation, I'm going to share with you a technique that where most traders would have thought this was overbought or we were in the way of some resistance was actually generating an uptrend signal. Even after it had gone up for the last three or four months, it just signals an uptrend. And therefore, you could have jumped on board and potentially capture it upwards of 75 points, okay? So we're gonna talk about pinpointing strong trending markets in advance by using this technique that I'm gonna share with you. And the beauty of this is, is that everything you're gonna be learning today is displayed on our platform, and everything is one click away on the PTS Primo Charting Platform. This is the educational tool that actually pinpoints these strong trending markets in advance. So welcome to this educational presentation. My name is Stephen Primo. I am the president and founder of Specialist Trading. If you're new to my webinars, if you haven't joined us before, thank you for joining us. And just explain if you've come here today thinking that I'm going to give you a number of stocks to buy or tell you what I think the market's going to do or tell you what I think the perfect time frame is to trade. You've actually come to the wrong place. In fact, that goes entirely against our philosophy or principles at Specialist Trading. You see, we are first and foremost an educational company. And I focus simply on educating you with the one goal of you making your own trading decisions. Now, I know a lot of students of mine say, well, why is it so important that I make my own decisions? Why can't I just you know, follow whatever you're doing? Or why can't you just give me signals or stocks to buy or stocks to sell or tell me what to do and then I'll simply follow along? Well, I've been trading for 44 years now. I started my career on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange. I was on the floor for 16 years. Nine of those years, I was a specialist. That's where we get the name specialist trading. A specialist is someone who made markets in roughly about 50 or 60 stocks. So if you wanted to buy or sell a stock, you had to uh, you know, contact or go up to the trader who specialized in making a market. So I traded during the crash of 87. I made markets during that time frame. I traded the bull market after that. And I've, I've been involved in just about every trading environment you can think of, straight up, straight down, sideways markets. I've traded just about every system or every strategy or every technique you can think of. It's probably been around before, just been renamed or rebranded. And if there's one thing I've learned in 44 years of trading, it's that the only traders that are still consistent are the ones that make their own trading decisions. You see, none of these traders go to blogs to find out, you know, what someone else likes or doesn't like. They don't go to chat rooms or trading rooms to find out what to buy or sell. They don't listen to the guys on TV. They're not concerned with fundamental or economic indicators. They don't really care about that. They have a plan in place and they stick with it and they make their own trading decisions. Usually these plans are extremely simple. And these are the ones that just didn't have a good year or maybe a couple of good years, but they had maybe a good decade or maybe a couple of good decades. And this is what we're trying to instill in all of you around the world as students. Now, we have students in over 115 countries and in virtually every state in the United States. And we're trying to instill what we call the specialist edge. That's the edge where you get all this education. We provide you with that service of things that have stood the test of time 
so that ultimately you can make your own trading decisions. We don't have chat rooms here. We don't have trading rooms. We don't have a signal service. We don't believe in those things because that would actually be detrimental to your success. What we do have are sound fundamental things that have stood the test of time and we work with you so that you can ultimately learn them and then ultimately make your own decisions and be in charge of your own trading destiny for the very first time. That's our goal as an educational company. All right. Now, you'll see that attention to detail in today's presentation because I'm going to share with you an educational technique. Hopefully, it will be able to increase your odds for consistency. But before we begin, as always, we're first required by law to share this with you. So please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm going to share with you a lot of performance results using this technique and applying it to a lot of different markets. But please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future. Also, please remember that all examples are strictly for educational purposes only. So since we are an educational company, if you'd like to get more education on a daily basis, I invite each and every one of you to follow us on Twitter. There's our handle right there. Uh, lots of great daily education, uh, anywhere from little bits of financial wisdom to signals that our strategies have generated. And I go into detail and give you a little bit of uh, knowledge as to why they were generated, okay? Remember, you're never gonna find me telling you what to buy or sell on Twitter, that's not what we do. That would, once again, be doing you a disservice. Uh, what we do is basically educate you so that you can make your own trading decision. Now, once again, my goal as an educator, as a mentor, is not to force feed you signals. It's not to tell you what the best market is or not to even tell you what I think the market's gonna do. I have no idea what the market's gonna do. I listen to the market and then simply go with it. So my goal is simply to teach you all these things that I've learned in four decades plus so that ultimately you can trade with the specialist ad. You know, I, I, the other day I saw on Twitter, someone responded to something I tweeted and said, Steve, why don't you just share with me what are the best stocks that I should buy right now? And if you notice, we've all been taught that, myself included, when I first started trading that, that's the way you become successful by getting your information, someone who's been around or is teaching you and have them tell you what they do and copy them and mimic them, okay? Now think of it, the entire industry is based on that premise, right? You go to a website, you pay for the signals, you buy a system, it spits out the signals for you. Uh, you go to a chat room or a trading room, they tell you what to buy or what to sell or what they're doing. Uh, you watch the guys on TV, they tell you what they like or don't like about the market. Uh, the economic indicators or the uh, earnings come out that tell you whether the stock is, is a good buy or not. Everything is an outside source telling you what you should do. And if you look at it, what do the statistics show? Well, 80 to 85% of all traders fail. And when I say fail, I don't just mean they go into a small drawdown. It means that they lose all of the money they've put aside for trading. So if this format was so successful, why doesn't it work? Why do the majority of traders fail? Well, obviously this format does not work. The only way one becomes consistent in our opinion is by making your own trading decisions. Most traders don't wanna do that because they say, well, Steve, I haven't been trading as long as you. I don't have the education. I don't have a degree in economics. You know, I just do this on the side for a little bit of extra income. I don't know enough. Well, trust me, I came from the same background. I didn't have any of this knowledge. And the basic thing is, is that we're all taught things that have no level of consistency. So what our job is to, is to share with you and provide you high probability setups, high probability strategies that have shown to have high levels of consistency so that ultimately you can make your own trading decisions. This is the way I was taught. This is what has sustained me and hopefully the specialist edge will be able to sustain you. Now, uh, this is a classroom today and just like any class, I want you to ask me as many questions as possible. But please, we like to take the questions at the end of the presentation. I have over 150 slides to share with you, and I don't want to keep you here too long and take all of your trading day away from you. So uh, if you have a question, please wait till the end. I promise I will answer it then. The only question I will answer is this, and that is, is this being recorded? Yes, all of our presentations are recorded. So if you have to leave early or, you know, even if you have technical difficulties, let's say you can't see or hear uh, me coming through clearly. Oftentimes it's your own internet connection. You have to log off and then log back on. But if, even if that doesn't work, don't worry. Each and every one of you will be provided with a link to this recording so you can study it at your own leisure, okay? So remember, we have a good crowd here today. Uh, if you have questions, you came in late, please wait till the very end to ask. And I promise I'll get to each and every one of them at that point, okay? All right, with that stated, let us begin. Now, 
we're going to be talking about you know this process in which to capture these advanced trends or these these big trends in advance but how can we determine the overall trend because that's what we want to know first of all you know i know a lot of traders are always saying well steve you know i always look at a higher time frame and then i look to find out if the lower time frames in sync and that's how i find out these trends okay well remember we want to use things that have shown high levels of consistency and in my opinion after trading for over four decades, I was first taught that technique four decades ago, and I have found no consistency in looking at multiple time frames. Personally, it, it just doesn't work for me. All it has served to do is keep me out of some good trades while I'm waiting for the two time frames to line up. So, well, someone would say, well, see, well, then how do you know the overall time frame? How do you know the overall trend? Well, it's simple. The way we determine the overall trend, as we look here in some charts, for example, looking at this, in hindsight, it's easy to see that this has been an overall uptrend. This was an overall downtrend in Costco. And in Deer, this was an overall uptrend. So it's easy to see in hindsight that these were strong, trendy markets. It's easy. Anyone can do that and look back and say, well, yeah, we're obviously in an uptrend, but I would have wish I would have loved to have known that six months ago. But how can we determine the overall trend now? Remember, Looking at multiple time frames, if you feel you must do that, feel free to go ahead and do it. We're not here to tell you how not to trade. We're just here to share with you things that have shown high levels of consistency. And once again, in my own personal experience, I have found no consistency in using two different time frames to trade. Okay? So with that said, how can we determine the overall trend? Well, it's really simple by applying the buy sell line. Now, before you think it's some convoluted indicator that you have to construct or spend $10,000 on. No, you already have access to the buy sell line. Any platform you have, it makes no difference because the buy sell line is not something really complicated or some formula. It's the 50 period simple moving average. We call it the buy sell line. And the reason why we call it that is because you need to apply it to virtually every chart you're trading. I don't care if you trade five minute charts of the E-mini or you trade monthly charts of the British pound or daily charts, as you see here, of stocks. You always should have a 50 period moving average plotted. Now on our platform, we make it simple in the upper green strategy tab, right to the far left where you should start. That's the first thing you wanna do, click on buy sell line, and we have four different features and ways in which to apply it. Let's just click on the simplest, just a, a moving average buy sell line, all right? Now, there is the 50 period moving average. Now what you have to do before you pull the trigger, before you buy something or sell something, is always ask a question, and that is where is price in relation to that 50 period moving average, okay? If price is below, the overall trend is down. Now, where is price in relation to the 50 period moving average right now? Obviously, it's above, right? Therefore, the overall trend is up. Now, this chart was taken in uh, AMAT Applied Materials coming into April, but if we go back four or five months, in November, price was above the 50 even then. So do you see how you never have to play that victim game that traders love to always play the victim? Like, oh God, Steve, I never get to know these things. Well, if you had applied the 50 period moving average well in advance, some four or five months ago, you would have known that the overall trend in AMAT was up, so you shouldn't be shorting it. You should be looking for buy setups. Now this works the opposite way as well. As we look at Costco, obviously in hindsight, we're going lower, but how could we have known somewhere up here that the overall trend was down. Once again, click on the buy sell line and ask yourself this question before you buy something. I don't care if somebody said, hey, Steve, this is a great triple bottom right here. This is where all the institutions are buying it. I go to that chat room and they say, you've got to buy this because the earnings are going to come out. It's going to be great. Sound familiar, right? This is the way most traders, myself included, make their trading decisions when you first start out by using all these traditional things that really show no levels of consistency. If you had just simply applied the 50 period moving average and ask yourself, where is price in relation to that? You would have known that price was below and there is no reason in the world you want to buy below the 50 period moving average. Now, remember, this is not written in stone that this works 100% of the time. If you think that, then you're in the wrong business because nothing works 100% of the time in trading. We're just trying to give you an edge to increase your odds for consistency. And over time, if you use this, you will increase your odds for consistency. Now, sure, there will be some great buying opportunities below the 50 and some great selling opportunities above. 
But over time, if you keep playing that way in the market, you won't have a lot to show for it. You'll have higher level of consistency if you only buy above the 50 and only sell below the 50. Now, once again, as we look at this chart right here in Deer, I mean, looking at this, some traders would love to say, gosh, I would have loved to have known this was in an overall uptrend, but going back to last year, July. Well, if you applied the 50 period moving average on our platform, it's one click away, you would have known well in advance. We were already above in July. So there's no reason, you know, you would have said to yourself, well, I mean, I had no clue it was going to go higher. Well, sure, no one knows how high something will go or how low something will go, but you know already that the overall trend was up. So therefore, it had an upward bias. You should have been looking for buying opportunities if you were interested in this stock. Okay. So always ask yourself, I don't care what strategy you trade. I don't care what market you trade. I don't care what time frame you trade. You should have a 50 period moving average plotted on that chart. And then once you have it plotted, if you have an idea to buy or sell something, ask yourself first, where is price in relation to the 50 period simple moving average? If you had an idea to buy deer, well, that would have been great. And as you can see now in hindsight, the odds were in your favor because you were in sync with the overall trend. There was no reason to use a double time frame. There was no reason to use a tons of indicators. There was no reason to see what the institutions or the earnings were. The market was telling you already and simply that it wanted to go higher. Now, how can we have pinpointed the beginning of these big trends in advance? Well, even though this is not 100% guaranteed, there is a way to do it that is a great technique. Now, in order to do this, now we have to use a shorter term indicator. And this is the PET D. You've heard me talk about this before. This was a tool I was first introduced to on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange when I worked there. At that time, we used to call it the formula because it was an actual formula that we had to calculate almost on a tick by tick basis. But if you're asking what the PET D is, it's a proprietary algorithm. We're keeping the formula in house because we want to take all the hard work out of it for you. Trust me, if you had to do the calculation the way I did some 30, 40 years ago when I was on the floor, you wouldn't have time to trade. It's just too difficult. It's very cumbersome. So we've taken the hard work out of it for you. And we've, with the help of uh, programmers and high speed computers, we've developed it into a color bar tool. And all it does is colors the bar either green or red. So we can use this, one of the basic ways to use it is as a signal confirmation tool. It can confirm your signals. But for simplicity's sake, the best way, in my opinion, to use this is as an early trend detector. As you see here, the ETD, that's what we get for the, the name in PET D. So what it is, is a translator. The best way to describe what the PET D is, is a translator for the short term, okay? Many times students will say, gosh, Steve, I'm just so out of sync with the market. It's like it's speaking in another language. I don't know what it's saying. I'm always out of sync. Well, the pet D is like a translator telling you what it wants to do. Remember, our job as traders is simple. First of all, our job is not to predict how high or how low something will go. Our job is not to predict the earnings. Okay, Our job is not to predict what the market's going to do. Our job is simply to listen to the market and find out what it's telling us it wants to do. And then we just jump on board, whether it's straight up or straight down. It makes no difference. And the way we do that is by using our translator, which is the PET D. Now, let's look at this uh, generic chart here. As you can see, the trend is up. The short term trend is up. At the time, most traders would recognize that the trend is up. It would be somewhere around these levels. OK, we're in a a bona fide short term trend. And just by the time they decide to get in, this happens, right? Well, once we apply the PET D, we see that the PET D colored all the bars here green and then changed to red. We knew well in advance that we were in an uptrend back here. And we knew well in advance before the market fell out of bed that we were in a downtrend because a series of green bars will equal an uptrend, a series of red bars will equal a downtrend. That's how simple it is to use. You don't have to overcomplicate things. I often say to my students, it's not the market that is complicated, it's the trader that makes it more complicated than it has to be. Trading is really simple. You just have to get out of your own way. If you're trading correctly, all right, if you're really doing it right, it's extremely boring. It, it's basically like fishing. You just kind of cast out your line and then you sit and wait. That's really what trading is. 
If you're trading and you have multiple screens on your chart or multiple computers, if the phones are ringing, if you can't catch a break, if there's paper all over your desk, you're not doing it correctly. That's not trading. That's more like gambling. Okay. So this is really simple. You have your translator combined with the overall trend. Now, let's talk about pinpointing early trends with a pet D technique. This is a technique I'm going to share with you that is a high level of consistency. Remember, when we say consistent, most students will say, oh, that means it never fails, right? It always wins. No, that's not what consistent means. Consistency is an awareness that you will have losses from time to time. That's okay. That's perfectly admissible. But a consistent method or a consistent technique is one that's able to recoup the losses. So that's what you should be trading. So many uh, traders who become new students of mine say, well, Steve, I had this system that I bought for $10,000. It worked great for a month. I made a ton of money and then I gave it all back the next month and then it stopped working forever and I lost a lot of money. It sound familiar, right? That's not a consistent method. Everyone has stories of how they hit these home runs and then gave it back. So that's a, more of a gambling mentality. That's a gambling way of trading. A consistent trader is more like a professional trader, a two-step forward, one-step back approach. That's what you're looking for in your P&L. You're looking for a nice upward slope, and that's what consistency is, and that's what all of our strategies and methods and techniques have. They have high levels of consistency. So remember, there will be losses. There will be times where it doesn't work. If you use proper money management and proper uh, way to trade it, you will and should be okay. Okay, so here's the setup. Remember, once again, if you don't fully write this down or understand it, don't worry, you're all going to get a link to this recording. You can study this at your own leisure, all right? All right, so we want to apply the buy-sell line, obviously. That's going to tell us the overall trend. And then we want to apply the pet D. That's going to tell us the short-term trend. So you see, there's no reason to use multiple time frames. It's all right here with these two tools. And then we're going to look for a three-bar pivot high or a three-bar pivot low. Now, if you're not familiar with that, let me share with you what that is. Here's a three-bar pivot high. Obviously, as you can see here, it's three bars. Bar number one makes a high. Bar number two makes a higher high. And bar number three makes a lower high. So you kind of have this arrowhead approach here if you connect the dots to the highs, all right? That's a three bar pivot high. This is what we're looking for. Now, what we want is to see that all of the bars are colored green in this three part uh, bar pivot high. They're colored green by the pet D. At the same time, we want to see that this pattern is below the buy sell line, all right? So it's going to look as if, well, the short-term trend is out of sync with the overall trend because we're going to be below. But in this instance, the short-term trend is giving us a clue that it's ahead of the overall trend, and we're about to go into an overall uptrend. So we want to buy when price trades just above bar number two or the high of that three-bar pivot. Okay? Now, we're also going to be looking if we want to go short, if we want to buy puts, if we want to actually short the stock or the future or the currency pair for a short-term pivot low. This is, once again, the opposite side of the coin. It's a three-bar pattern. Bar number one makes a low. Bar number two makes a lower low. And bar number three makes a higher low. So if you connect the dots of these bottoms here, you have this kind of a V look. All right? So here's what we're looking for. We want to see that all three of these bars are colored red by the PET D. The PET D is the early trend detector. It's more sensitive. Now, we want to see that they're all colored red. And at the same time, that this three bar pattern is above the buy sell lines. You're going to say, well, Steve, you said that you're not supposed to be looking to sell above the sell line. Yes, that was just if you're just randomly buying or selling. But we have a short term trend tool here that's a translator telling us that this is ahead of the overall trends. You see, the overall trend is like an ocean liner. And the short-term trend, the PIP-D, is like a, a speedboat, okay? So it takes the ocean liner a long time to turn around, whereas the speedboat can turn its direction, you know, in the blink of an eye. So the speedboat has already changed direction. It's going the different direction, and it's waiting for the ocean liner, the overall trend, to turn with it. And this is how you can catch in advance many times these trends, okay? So what we wanna do is we wanna see this three bar pattern below the buy sell line. And if we trade below bar number two, that short term low, that's when we're gonna go short. Now, if you notice, I said this is a technique. 
And someone's going to say, well, yeah, well, Steve, where do I get out? Where do I place my stop? What's the money management aspects of this? Remember, a technique is not a strategy. All of those things are included in a strategy. A technique is just kind of shining a spotlight on a high probability point of entry. That's it. In terms of exiting, stop placement, money management, those are all things included in a full-fledged system or strategy. This is not any of those. It's a technique. Now, in our courses, and, and plus, if you've been trading for a while, you'll have a clear-cut idea of where you want to protect yourself or where you want to get out. Many times, if you place a stop, you know, just below the uh, or above the three-point uh, pivot, high or low, and then you double that amount of risk, that's an adequate way to trade. You're making twice what you think you were possibly going to risk, okay? All right, so let's look at this generic example here. We are below the 50 period moving average and all the bars are red. So what's happening here? No need to look at earnings. There's no need to go to a chat room. There's no need to go to a blog or go to a, you know, some, uh, to watch some guy on TV tell you what he thinks the market's going to do. You're making your own decision because the overall trend is down, price is below the 50, and all the bars are red, so the short-term trend is down. Okay, so you have a clear-cut idea of which direction this wants to go. Now, all of a sudden, days later, what do we have? We have three bars that turn green, but price is still below the 50. So we have kind of a little conflict going around here. But don't worry, all this is saying is that the speedboat has changed directions, it's just waiting for the ocean liner to change directions. Now, the next thing we want to look for is that little arrow pattern. Bar number one makes a high, bar number two makes a higher high, bar number three makes a lower high. That's a three, point, uh, three bar pivot high. So that's the second requirement that's met. But we can't just buy at the market because we don't have confirmation that it's going higher. So we want to buy if we trade right there. And remember, it doesn't say we have to close above there, we just have to trade there. So let's see what happened. Well, the next day, we actually traded right there and then closed lower. This is where students say, hey, this doesn't work. This stuff's terrible. That guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, he said a trend change was about to take place. And look at this thing. It, it, it went lower. Well, remember, this is this a technique. You don't even have to trade this if you don't want to. You can use this to say, well, I think the market's going to go higher. I'll start looking for buy signals using my strategy or some other strategy. It's not something that you have to trade. It can be used just as a technique to share with you that a, a pretty nice trend is just about to take place. But either way, this was signaling that a trend change was happening, even though we're still below the 50. And then ultimately, we went higher. See how simple that is? Once again, you made this decision on your own by simply doing one thing, listening to the market. There's no you know, earnings or economic report you had to listen to. There's no support and resistance. There's no uh, volume. Trust me, I used those things 44 years ago, and they didn't work then, and they're not about to start working now. So there's no need to waste your time and energy, and most especially hard-earned money, on, on, on things that really show no levels of consistency. Make trading simple, and you'll get to that road of consistency that you're looking for. All right, let's look at the opposite side of the coin. All right, price is above the 50 period, right? So what is the overall trend? The overall trend's up. What are the color of the uh, price bars? They're all green, green, outlined green. So that means the short-term trend is up. So you have the short trend and the overall trend in sync. No reason to look at multiple time frames. No reason to you know uh, have multiple moving averages, crossovers. Remember, keep it simple. Now, so for all intents and purposes, we only want to be buying here. But then look what happens. Three days later. We have a really big, strong up move, closes down, and there's a red bar in the pet D, and then two more red bars. All right, let's look for that pattern, short-term pivot low. And what do we have right here? Bar number one makes a low, bar number two makes a low, bar number three makes a higher low. So we have that short-term pivot low pattern, and they're all colored red. So this is a setup. Now, you don't want to just sell or say, well, we're going into a downtrend. You need confirmation by it trading right below there. Remember, the short-term trend is telling you there's a good sign we're going to head lower. But the overall trend is telling you, no, that we're still headed higher. So we're out of kind of sync right here. That's why we need this confirmation. But just remember, the short-term trend is like that speedboat that just changed directions. It was in sync with the ocean liner, but now it changed the opposite way, and it's waiting for the ocean liner to change as well. It's just giving you an advanced warning. 
Now, on the very next bar, what happened? Well, we traded there. Doesn't matter if we closed there. We could have closed all the way back up here, but we closed here. So this is our confirmation that most likely the trend has changed and we're going to be going lower. This could be the beginning of a strong downward trend. And look what happened after that. Okay. Once again, no need to look at support and resistance. No need to follow what the institutions are doing. I traded with the institutions 44 years ago. They had the worst track records of, of any anyone I had ever traded with when they were entering orders in my book at my post uh, on the exchange. So I would never trust what the institutions are doing. I would trust more what the market's telling me. And the pet D, our translator, was telling us that it wanted to go lower. Okay. So you have the basic setup. Remember, this is some, just a technique. I don't want you to think that this is, well, Steve, I'm going to start trading this the minute this concludes. Remember, I want you to realize this is just a technique. We're not telling you where exactly to buy. We're not telling you where exactly to sell. We're not even telling you to trade this if you don't want. This can just be used as a tool to tell you when the trend's changing. So maybe you're involved in the, that particular stock or future or currency pair, or maybe you're thinking about getting long. This is a great tool to have in your trading plan to tell you, well, maybe I shouldn't be getting in yet, or maybe I should wait, or maybe it's time to get in. So this is just a great tool to have, and let's share with you some recent setups that, that uh, ended this last week or so, okay? Remember, everything you're seeing today is coming from a display from our platform, the PTS Primo Charting Platform. I developed this with Pro Trader Strategies with one goal in mind, and that was simply to educate you. It's like having your own personal mentor right there next to you. Everything you're seeing is one click away. It's a, you know, this is just one of the, I would say, hundreds of different uses we have on our platform that you won't find anywhere else because most of the things I we have on the platform are taken from when I was trading on the floor of the exchange and, and you won't find them on any other platform. You won't find them anywhere else except on the PTS Primo charting platform. Okay, so let's look at this uh, example in BBY. This was just about a month ago in March, all right? Someone looking at this would say, well, Steve, this looks pretty good, but you know what? I think we're kind of starting to roll over. Maybe we're a little bit overbought here. Well, what's the first thing we do? We add the buy sell line. That's going to tell us the overall trend. Let's not make our own assumptions. Let's let the market tell us what the overall trend is. And once we apply it, we say, well, the overall trend is down. So, okay, well, if I have a sell signal, that's what I want to do. But this is a more advanced way of trading because we're going to also add the short term trend. All right. That's the pet D. Now we're below the 50 period moving average, but what is the short term trend telling us? Well, we click on the pet D. This is on our green strategy tab as well. And it automatically changes our colors. And guess what? We have a little bit of conflict. The last three bars of the pet D are green. Now, does this mean obviously it's going higher? No, there's no confirmation, but we find that three bar pivot high. So if we trade above there, that's our confirmation that most likely the trend has changed. Two bars later, it traded up there and the beginning of a nice trend in BBY. Okay, that's simple. That's it. How about CERN? All right. Now, this is an example of where someone could say, well, Steve, this is a perfect example. We've got a nice support here. And I really like this. This is a doji. So it looks like this little sell off is concluded. I'm going to step in and buy. And that chat room I go to says that you really got to purchase this one. Okay. All my decisions were based on outside sources. What is the market telling me? Apply the buy sell line and it's telling me that the overall trend is up. So yeah, you may be in sync with the overall trend, but what about the short term trend? If we apply that, even though we're above the 50 period moving average, the pet D is telling us our translator, remember it translates on a tick by tick basis. It's telling us that the last three bars were red. And on top of that, there is that pattern the three bar pivot low. So even though this may not pan out, maybe the next bar is gonna be green, it's gonna go right back up. We wanna protect ourselves. So if we're thinking about buying, let's wait and see, okay? If we trade below there, all bets are off. We don't wanna be a buyer. And two bars later, we traded there. We didn't close there or we didn't close lower. We actually closed higher. But this isn't necessarily a system or a trading tool. This is just telling you if a trend change is most likely taking place. So at this point, if you were thinking about going long CERN, maybe some guy in a chat room says, you gotta buy this, the institutions are buying it, I would definitely say, well, what is the market telling you? What you've learned today is the market's saying, most likely the trend's gonna change to the downside. And CERN, as you can see, went down about 10 points right after that. 
How about CDNS, all right? We have the same situation where we're below the 50, but the short-term trend is creating that three-bar pivot high. Right there, okay? In order to have confirmation, we only want to make sure that this is an uptrend if we trade above there, which we did, and we even closed above the 50-period moving average, and coming into the next week, coming in the first week of April, we were already up, I believe we were up 12 points. Let's look at the NTES, okay? Now, at least we're above the 50 period moving average. We're well above the 50 period moving average. But at this point right here, coming into mid-February, look what happened. We had a series of red bars and we had that one, two, three bar pivot low. So this is giving us a sign that this may not be the best time to either hold on to a position or perhaps think about going long. But in order to do that, we need to confirm it by trading below. So we wait and the next bar, it traded there and below. So this would have been a sign coming from the market, not from me, because I never tell traders what to do. I never tell them what my ideas are. I don't even have ideas. I'm just doing the same thing I'm teaching you right here. I'm listening to what the market's telling me. And the market's telling me that it wanted to go lower. And this was coming into March. And as you can see, the stock went down about 17 points from that point of trend change. All right, let's look at ADSK, all right, Autodesk. We are below the 50, so the overall trend is down but the short-term trend is giving us a signal that it may want to go up. Now, this is very interesting because remember, as I said, we have to have confirmation. It's not just enough to say, well, Steve said that this three bar pattern here, so I just buy, right? Or I just cover my shorts because it's gonna go up. No, we need to have it trade here. So let's see what happened. Never traded there. And on top of that, look what happened to the bars. They changed color. So if you see a setup happen, regardless if you're thinking about an uptrend or downtrend, and it never trades at that confirmation one tick above or one tick below, and then it changes back to its original color, all bets are off. We would say negate the setup. You see, you want all bars in this situation to remain green. But once they change to red, what is the market telling you? It's telling you that, well, we changed our mind, we want to go lower now, all right? So there's no reason to have that setup in place. So that's negated. And you can still continue to look to see if it happens. So as we go forward, we see, well, there was one green bar, not enough to situate uh, and have us change. But then what happens here? Coming into April, now we do have another setup. Here is the three bar pivot high. So now, instead of wanting to buy up here, it's nice to say that we can get in lower because we have another setup. Now, this isn't always gonna happen. Sometimes you'll get a next setup that will be higher, okay? But in this case, if you wanted to use this as a trading opportunity, you would be getting in lower, or if you wanted to use this as a trend change tool, you would know much quicker. So as we see here on the very next trade, that was the signal of a trend change. So we were a little bit early right here. See, the market was giving us clues, but it wasn't confirmed. But here we are confirmed coming into the very first week of this month of April, and ADSK went up 25 points last week, okay? Do you notice here, I'm not bringing up anything about fundamental news. There's nothing about earnings. There's nothing about what's going on with the you know, economy. There's nothing about what some guy said on TV. I stopped listening to that 44 years ago. It didn't work for me then, once again, so I don't use that. And most of the traders I know who are still trading that I, I traded with on the floor, there aren't a lot of them left anymore. A lot of them got blown out. But the ones who are still trading don't. They don't watch you know, the news on TV. They don't look at earnings. They don't follow any of that. They have a, a sound fundamental way of trading, very simple, usually three to five rules, tops, that's it. And they just follow their rules and that's it. Remember, if you're trading correctly, it should be very boring. All right, let's look at NOC. All right, the market is giving us a clue that it wants to go lower. Even though it's above the buy sell line, it just confirmed trading below that three bar pivot low right here, one, two, three. So at this point, you shouldn't be thinking about buying even though some guy in a chat room may say, hey, this is really inexpensive. You gotta jump in. Because had you bought right here, well, look what happened. You would have been saying, hey, you know, Steve, you're wrong. Look what happened. I mean, I'm, uh, you know, making a little bit of money. I'm still in this trade. Uh, the guy in the chat room wasn't wrong. Well, remember, just because you're in the trade or just because you think the trend has changed, it doesn't mean that it's wrong yet. So a lot of traders like to say, well, where do I know if it's wrong to be in this? Well, we usually look at the first red bar in that series of bars, which was right here. So here's where your benchmark is. 
If we traded back up to here and closed above here, then the market, yes, is not most likely going to go down. Remember I, I talked about consistency? So if we start to move back up and then go above that highest red bar, that would be telling us that, yes, it didn't work out and the market decided to change its mind. But so far, we're not above there. So for all intents and purposes, the market is still signaling to us that we're in a short-term trend change to the downside. And then look what eventually happened. NOC fell over 50 points uh, in the next month or so. Here's another example. Okay, here's a setup to go long in Adobe. We're below the 50 and we have a setup, but look what happened. The bars changed. We never confirmed there. So once again, we negate this setup. Now, last time we were lucky to find a setup lower, but that doesn't always happen. As we go forward, we see that here's the second setup at a much higher level, but that's okay. Remember, it doesn't matter. We're only following the market. You know, traders who want to buy at the very lowest level and sell at the very top level are using, using a gambling mentality. That's not what we're here for. All we want to do are have high probability setups that have consistency. Two steps forward, one step back. So even if we're going to be purchasing higher, that's okay. So here's a three bar pattern. And it took us a day or two to get there, but we did. We never turned to red again. The bar still remained green. And so it's a full-fledged trend change in Adobe. This was coming into April. Here's where we would have said it was wrong. All right, that first green bar in the series. And as you can see, Adobe went up roughly about 40 points in the next week or so, the first week of April. Let's look at BMRN, okay? Now, uh, once again, this is sharing with us that the short-term trend and the overall trend are out of sync. We're above the 50 period moving average, so the overall trend is up, but the short-term trend is red, and we have this three-bar pivot low here. So we may be in the beginning of a trend change, but we have to trade right here. And two days later, we did. Now remember, just because we trade there does not mean that it's going to happen right away. As you can see, we kind of went sideways for the next two weeks. This was in the summer in August. So someone would say, well, Steve, this isn't really panning out. I thought this was really supposed to work. Uh, BMRN isn't really doing anything. And, uh, you know, I'm kind of, you know, I got into a trade here. I shorted some stock or maybe I bought the puts of something that's similar and uh, nothing's happening. Remember, unless we go above the first red bar in the series, which would be right here, the market's still telling us we're in a downtrend. After all, we are now below the 50 and the majority of the bars are red. So we had the two trends in sync and ultimately it did kick in and the stock fell roughly about 50 points, okay? So sometimes you have to wait a little bit, but after in hindsight, wouldn't you have loved to look back here and said, wow, I wish I would have got short here and known that we were in a downtrend. And you see all this was done without any news or any knowledge of something. Obviously some news came out, which caused this to gap down much lower, right? But do you notice none of this is based on any news? None of this is based on any earnings or economic indicators. So how did we know to go short? Did the CEO of the company call me up and tell me, hey, listen, Steve, some bad news is going to come out. You may want to tell all your students around the world to short this stock. No, everything we got, all of our information came from the chart in front of us. Everything you need to know is it right in front of you. That's the source. That's what you're trading. That's what you, you should be listening to, not some outside source. All right, here's the opening chart we started with in VIAC, okay, Viacom. We were below the 50. Remember, most traders will say, well, Steve, we're overbought here. You say we're below the 50, you should sell. You're right, that is the basic premise. But once you get a little bit more advanced, you can apply the pet D on our platform. It's just one click away. And now you can see that the short term is out of sync with the overall trend. And on top of that, it's actually giving you a sign that we may be changing trends. As you can see, there's a three bar pivot high. All we need to do is trade above it. Sometimes it takes a while, but as long as these bars do not turn red, we can still be having a valid setup. And it took about, and this is a weekly chart, so it took about a good two months until ultimately we did trade there. So that was your signal going back to August, September, that this was the beginning of a full-fledged uptrend. Even though it looked like the stock was doing nothing for the last three, four months, that was your sign. And you never have to look back and say, well, gosh, Steve, how, how do I know that? Well, you know, how would I know? Maybe there was some news where the uh, 
uh, these guys in some blog were uh, going to uh, take the stock up like crazy. See, traders love to play the victim game and always love to say that somebody else did something to them. But once you learn all these tools and techniques and tips, you can't use that excuse anymore because you'll learn how to listen to the market. And uh, it's been my experience that nine times out of 10, the market tells you what it wants to do well in advance of anything that happens in a stock. So, you know, there are so many traders that, that wanted to become students of mine that said, well, Steve, you know, there's no way, you know, I can go against the, the big money or these things that happen like in GME or uh, uh, AMC. There's, you know, they're, they're stacked against me. There's no way. That's the victim role that traders love to use. But once you learn these techniques, you see that you'll never have to play that role again. You will be in charge of your own trading destiny, not someone else. Now, real quickly, let me just share with you some other time frames and markets, because I don't want you to think that this only works for stocks. Here is a, a four hour chart of the British pound. Same exact concept. Nothing changes because we change markets or time frame. We're above the 50 period moving average, but we have the three bar pattern here. Right here, it told us this was on the 6th of April to go short the uh, British pound because it was uh, in a short term downtrend. And as you can see, right at this point, it went down 150 pips coming into the 9th. 150 pips would could have uh, you know uh, basically been roughly about $1,500 per unit had you stayed in that time. But that's how, how much it was in a, in a dollar amount. If we go to a five minute chart of the E-mini futures, this was on the 7th of April. Okay, this was just the last couple of weeks. Same concept. We're below the 50. The overall trend is down. But look, we have the three bar pivot high. The trend changed right here at 6:20 a.m. Um, that was uh, just 10 minutes before the opening. So you would have known right then that we're most likely going to have a strong upward market on a five minute chart. And in the first hour, the E mini futures were up 13 points. That's over, that's nearly $700 per contract that you could have made using this if you used it as a trading tool. You could have just used it as a market directional tool if you wanted to. And then lastly, Bitcoin. Here's an hourly chart of Bitcoin once again on the 7th. Same concept, we're below the 50, the overall trend is down, but the last three bars have formed that short-term pivot high, okay? So once we trade above there on an hourly time frame, here's an hourly chart of Bitcoin, that would tell you that most likely there's gonna be an upward move in Bitcoin. And we're not looking at any news of what's going on with blockchain or what's going on fundamentally. We don't care. I mean, there's no need to look at that. The market's telling you that most likely there's gonna be an uptrend in Bitcoin. Now, once we traded there on the very next bar, that was your sign. This was April 8th. And look what happened. Now, Bitcoin is even much higher than this. This is, this is roughly 4,000 points that went up higher since this happened on the 8th. It's even higher than that, way higher now. But this is why we say the reason why most traders fail is because you're listening to outdated things, conventional wisdom that shows no level of consistency. Once you learn to listen to the source, the very thing you're looking at, the, the, where you're trading, that's when your trading becomes consistent. Okay, now important points to remember. Remember, this is not a strategy. I have to clarify that. Even though you could trade it if you want, we didn't talk about the things that go into making a strategy, such as entry signals. We didn't talk about stop placement. And we didn't talk about exit, exiting signals, okay? We didn't talk about any of those things, including money management. These are all important spokes in the wheel important pieces of the puzzle that must go into the trading of a strategy. So I don't want you to just jump in and say, this is great, I'll start trading it in an hour. Because once again, where are you gonna get out? Where are you gonna enter? Please paper trade this for a while to formulate some type of strategy. Now, you can start using it right away just as a trend identifier, all right? You can use it that way, but it's not trading in any way, it's just sharing with you as a market directional tool. So let's recap really quickly. Apply the buy-sell line. Even if none of this makes sense or even if it isn't your cup of tea, just research the buy-sell line. Whatever market you trade, whatever time frame, go back and look at your last 10, 20 trades. If you applied a 50-period moving average to the chart of where you were taking your signals, I can almost guarantee the reason why you lost or had losing trades was because you bought below the 50-period moving average and you sold above. Once you're in sync, with this simple tool, you really increase your odds for consistency. So you always want to have the 50 period moving average applied on your chart, whatever market, whatever time frame. And then to kick it up at a more advanced level, apply the pet D, that's the short term 
trend identifier. That's the translator that translates on a tick by tick basis what the market wants to do. Imagine having the market right sit right next to you at your a trading desk and telling you what it wants to do. That's what it's like when you have the pet D. Okay. So now you don't need to look at different time frames. You don't need to have multiple uh, charts up there. All you need to do is have a 50 period and the pet D on your screen. And then look for that three bar pivot high or low. This is going to tell you in advance many times, not guaranteed, but many times if a strong trend is about to take place. No longer will you have to play that victim role of saying, gosh, you know, how come I didn't know about this? Boy, you know, all these, the big money always knows first. That's silly. There's, there's no reason why you can't have the same opportunities. The only reason is you're trusting in someone or something else. Trust in yourself. Once you learn these things, you don't have to rely on anyone or anything else. And then lastly, everything you saw today was coming from a display on the PTS Primo charting platform. It's like having your own personal mentor sit right there next to you over 44 years of experience, just one click away with all the available tools on the platform. So as we close, ask yourself, do you think this edge could have helped your trading this past year? Do you think it can help your trading going forward for 2021? Well, if your answer is yes, we have a great special attendee discount for all of you today. All right, we're going to offer you the Pet D. That's our Primo Early Trend Detector. This is our roadmap for virtually any market. Now, this is also going to come with two more continuation trading techniques, as well as two more pullback trading techniques. I just shared one of them with you today. We're also going to include a trailing stop technique. Now, remember, even though the majority of the examples I shared with you today were with stocks, you can apply it to any market any strategy and any time frame. It makes no difference. I don't just want you to think it only works for stocks, okay? I showed you a British pound. I shared with you the e-mini futures as well as Bitcoin. You can even try it with commodities. We have commodity students that love the way the Pet D works with commodities, soybeans, coffee, uh, cotton, things of that nature, okay? But remember, we're not going to stop there because you need the PTS Primo charting platform. So for today only, we're going to give you a full year free of the platform. This is usually runs close to $2,000 or more. We're going to give you a full year free of the platform for becoming a student of mine in the Pet D course. Now, let me share with you something you could have done last week. Let's just say I had given this presentation uh, a couple of weeks ago and you decided to become a course member and you had the PTS Primo charting platform. Well, not only would you get all these features, okay, the buy sell line, the strength of trend tool, over 90 uh, prominent technical indicators, our auto generated exit levels. But here's, I think, the best thing the signal scanner, all right? What you could have done a couple of nights ago was scan for stocks below the 50 period moving average. And what would have come on your list? Tesla, okay? So this is coming up until the 7th of, of, of uh, this past uh, week here. So you would have seen that Tesla was below. You said, okay, well, uh, Steve says the overall trend is down, so I shouldn't be looking to buy this. But now that you know this technique and you're a student of the Pet D course, first thing you want to do is apply the Pet D. Click on the Pet D, and what do we have? We have a little conflict here. The overall trend is telling us the market wants to go lower. The short-term trend, the speedboat, has already changed direction. Here's that three-bar pattern right there, okay? And this was just this past week. But we know we don't want to go long unless it trades above there. So had you waited, look what happened yesterday. This was yesterday. You could have either purchased Tesla or said to yourself, well, I think Tesla's in an uptrend now. Be very careful. I, I, some guy in some chat room said to short it, or some guy in some trading room said he didn't like Tesla. Well, guess what? What was the market telling me? Telling me that most likely there's an uptrend in Tesla. And just from that happening yesterday, uh, Tesla was up 80 points at one time today. Now, even though it may go down, I don't know what it's doing right now. Remember, where is your stop? Well, that This is wrong, right here. Okay, so if it goes below this level, that means that Tesla is most likely changed direction. Now, remember, this is just a trending tool. Well, someone would say, well, Steve, yeah, if I bought Tesla here, I don't have enough money to get out here. You don't have to use this as a system or a, as a strategy. This is just a trending tool to tell you which direction Tesla wants to go. Wouldn't you have liked to know that when we share with you that chart in, in uh, John Deere, I believe, or Viacom, uh, when it was uh, 75 points lower? So who knows? We don't know how high Tesla will go. We don't know if it'll last. But so far, it looks like a really nice signal. This just happened last couple of days. So remember, you can't get this unless you have the PTS Primo charting platform.
So let's break this down. Remember our pet decors comes with two continuation trading techniques along with two pullback trading techniques along with a trailing stop technique. One more thing I didn't mention here is that you're gonna get educational correspondence as well. So with one year of the platform, let's break it down. This would normally cost close to $5,000. We're gonna only charge you $29.95. That comes with a full free year of the platform. And if $29.95 is still too much for you to come up with in one lump sum, they're accepting payment plans now. Pro Trader Strategies, my sister site, takes care of all of the uh, pricing and the discounting and the tech support for the platform. They're very flexible. They would be very happy and willing to work with you on a payment plan. So if you can't come up with $29.95 for a small uh, deposit, you can still be up and running as early as today. You can get all the information on the course, the different techniques, and you can have it up and running with the platform. This is for a limited time only though. A year from today, you will have wished you became a member of the Pet D course. This is one of our most popular courses. I personally use the Pet D every day in my own personal trading and setups. This is something you really want to use. This is just one of the dozens of techniques, things you'll learn how to use it in our course. So become a member, take your trading to the next level. You don't wanna be where you are a year from today. And trust me, if you decide a year from today to become a member of the Pet D course, it won't be $29.95 or possibly not even have payment plans. It will most likely be well over five or $6,000. Take advantage of this discount today or the payment plan. Remember, here's the uh, information. Pro Trader Strategies is my sister site. If you're interested in finding out more about the pricing or a discount, I would suggest calling them directly at 598 66 77. They have trading consultants manning the phones. They would be happy to uh, work out a payment plan with you or give you some type of estimate. There's absolutely no obligation. Just give them a call and they'd be more than happy to give you some information. The only thing is, you know, don't just sit on this offer. As I often say, so many students sit on these offers. They contact Pro Trader Strategies a month or two later asking for the same deal and that's already gone. You know, the price is back up to thousands of dollars. So the link you see at the very bottom is the link that will take you to the uh, information page. You can also sign up there online if you'd like. Uh, that's not a live link, but a live link has been posted in the chat box on the GoToWebinar column on the far right, okay? So with that said, I remember I, I said I'd take questions at the end. So if you have questions, open up the question and answer box on the GoToWebinar column, and I'll answer them to the best of my ability, okay? Um, someone is asking, does this include or involve timing the market? Well, well yes, I mean, the, the, the technique is pretty much timing the market. But remember, when someone says timing the market, we're basically trying – that's related to the trend. We're, trying to, we're timing the trend. And so uh, if the trend is currently going down, what you're looking for is a timing of it if it's going to change to the upside and, and so forth. Uh, Manish asks, your dotted line is not exactly at the wick, but a little below. How much below or above the wick you keep it, it to the point to get into the trade? Okay, well, remember Manish, this was just an educational presentation. It was not meant to be exact. Uh, usually you want it, uh, anywhere can be up a tick. Some traders like to use it half a point. It's, it's up to you. Remember, we're, if you come here thinking I'm going to tell you exactly how to trade, as I said in the beginning, you've come to the wrong place. It's up to you. That's why we really strongly require that all of our students paper trade first. We don't just want you to jump in and start trading this or using this. Use it to what best uh, you know fits your trading style. Some students feel more comfortable if it's up 10 ticks. Others may say, no, I just need it to be trading one tick above and that's all. Others may say, I just need it to trade at the high of the wick to match the high and then I'm, uh, I know a trend change has taken place. It's, it's completely up to you. There's no right or wrong answer because this isn't a system. This is just a technique, once again, to uh, really elevate your trading to know when the next level is. But, but you know, you, know, you can uh, see for yourself, uh, try testing it out and see uh, what works best for you, okay? Good question. Someone is asking, you said you have educational correspondence. What exactly is that? This is probably the most common question I get. Uh, educational correspondence is basically like having your own personal mentor. Uh, I know a lot of uh, so-called educators will, will sell a system for five, ten thousand dollars $10,000, and then you'll never hear from them again. Well, we don't believe in that. Remember, we are first and foremost an educational company. So it's not in our best interest just to send you the, the course information and then to walk away. We want to make sure you know, that you apply it and use it correctly so that you can become a consistent trader. You know, it, it, uh, it makes no sense to us to have you not elevate your trading. So with that said, 
each of our students, regardless of what course or what uh, method you purchase, becomes a personal student of mine. You get my personal email address. So you can email me anytime you'd like. And I really mean that. It, it doesn't matter if it's the weekend. It could be the middle of the night. We have students in Europe. We also have students in Asia. We also have students in Canada. Uh, I'm on the West Coast. Uh, and so, you know, I'll get emails at all times of the day. I, I try to answer them as quickly as possible. So, uh, if you have a question about how to apply the PET-D, or if you have a question about another one of the techniques in the course, uh, you can always contact me whenever you'd like. And that's uh, the best we can do. It's like, I, I usually get back to people within 24 hours, okay? So, uh, you know, we're, we're really, as you can see, our focus is in really trying to educate you. We're not just trying, you know, some vendor trying to sell you something and then say, thanks, we'll see you later, good luck. We really want you to educate uh, in your trading because there's more than enough for everyone to go around. You know, there's not a finite source of profits to be made. I know a lot of traders think that way, but you know, I often say that would be like saying, well, there's a finite source of oxygen to be, to be inhaled today. So we have to be careful for every uh, exhale someone uh, has, I have an inhale. I mean, that's silly. I mean, why, why would you even think that way? But traders believe that uh, same concept where they say, well, for every loss, there's a win and vice versa. But I mean, there's more than enough for everyone to go around. It's an infinite amount of profits. So what does it matter how many people we teach these things? There's enough for everyone to go around. It's like a huge ocean. You know, you can come in and take a little cup full of it, or you can come to the ocean and take a huge, uh, you know, barrel full of water. But there's enough. It's a never-ending source. So it's the same way with trading. Uh, I don't want traders to think, you know, so many times I'll get questions like, well, why do you teach this? Why are you giving away the rules if it's so good? Well, because it's like, you know, saying, well, why would you, uh, you know, give, uh, uh, if you knew the, the uh, formula for aspirin, why would you share that? Because there's enough to go around for everyone. Why not? And so uh, it never feel as if there's a finite source of profits. There's always enough profits being generated on a daily basis. The problem is there's a finite source of wisdom being taught these days. It's just, it's just unbelievable how many, I've gone to webinars myself and that some of the things I, I, I listen to, I can't believe it. I was being taught these same things 44 years ago when I first started using them, and, and I lost a lot of money using these same techniques. So I try to teach all of our students around the world things that will really help them, not things that will maybe give them a couple of good trades and then have them losing it all a month later, okay? As you can see, we really focus on educating you. That's really what we want. Uh, someone's asking, can this be applied to think or swim? Yes, there are a few small alterations uh, that need to be made with the think or swim because of their data, but uh, Pro Trader Strategies, since they're in charge of all the tech support, they can help you with that. They, they know exactly. In fact, they do all of that for you. So if you have questions about this, I would contact uh, uh, Pro Trader Strategies. And remember, once again, there's absolutely no obligation. You can apply this with MetaStock, with TradeStation, with uh, Thinkorswim, NinjaTrader, uh, Sierra Charts. There's a lot of ways to use this. But the best thing is our platform because it's right there and everything is one click away. Okay. Okay, we're just about out of time. I just want to thank you so much for attending. I hope you saw our attention to detail and really wanting to teach you. We really are sincere in wanting to take your trading to the next level. So if you're ready to do that, please, as you take one last look at our disclaimer, take the time to watch the video, but don't sit on it. Contact Pro Trader Strategies. They can still set you up with that great, great discount, have you up and running as early as today or tomorrow. And Thank you so much for taking time out of your Wednesday. I look forward to all of you becoming students of mine in the Pet D course. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.